Hello, I'm Arthur Assassin here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you had a great weekend. You know, thank God for a great weekend. If you did have one, thank God for the new week. You know, thank God that you're healthy, you're feeling good, and you're ready to learn something new. So, um, today we're going to be talking about how to effectively make a sale. So, we're going to dive right into it. Um, first off, Hold on. Step number one is um, help people solve problems. Me know what your customers are looking for and how it can help them in the long run. Another um, meaning is don't target the customer's logic, target their emotions. You know, um, 97, if you, if you guys have been with me for a while now, in one of my presentations I said that 97, I think, or was it 93? 93% of... United States citizens are usually emotionally are emotionally driven and uh, probably seven percent of them are logically driven and um, it's been like that for a while so um, if you want potential you know customers and uh, also another thing I had to catch myself with this one too don't usually call your customers customers don't call them customers call them clients you know I have to fix that you know I have that bad you know I don't I shouldn't call them customers. I should refer to them as clients. Clients is a more you know soothing and uh, refreshing you know um, term. It, it lets them know when you say client, you let them know that you're gonna take care of them. Like you want them to keep coming back. That you you have their best in um, their best interests at heart. You know, and you want them to constantly keep coming back. You want to refer to them as clients. So target your clients' emotions, not logic. No looking for and be passionate about what you're selling okay always be passionate don't don't be one of them typical um, forceful them forceful businessmen who, who, who um, knock on your your clients doors and constantly try to get them involved in what you're selling interest in what you're selling you know be passionate about it have passion you know ease your way in you know take your clients on a date or whatnot you know not literally but you know, ease your way in. You know, uh, don't be aggressive and don't don't uh, be too forward. You know, they don't like that. Another way to effectively make a sale is um, tell a good story. You know, and, and give a uh, like facts sell story. I mean, said that wrong. Facts sell. I mean, facts tell story sells. So forgive me, I I miss uh, said that one. Let's try that again. Facts tell story sells. Always remember that. Write that down if you can. It's very important. It's a very important concept to understand that facts tell and story sells. So give your customer, you know, your clients. Oh, if you see the word customers, forgive me. You know I'm gonna change that. Refer to them as clients. Always from now on, I'm gonna refer to um you know customers as clients, 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 clients. That's what you wanna refer them to. Give your clients a good and understanding and educational um, understanding about what you're selling, and and also how it can help them out. You know how can your product help them in the long run. And uh, and if you learn, this is a skill. If you learn to effectively solve the client clients' problems at all times. They will buy anything from you. They will pay you anything. They will be. They will willingly give you their money if you can solve a problem for your client. And that has been even the greats know that. Even the greats have been have been saying that. Always be good at solving problems. Don't think about the money or none of that. Any anything like that, you know, or, or trying to effectively make a sale. Think about solving your customer's problem. What are they looking for? What's their interest? What do they need? How can your product help them out? Things of that nature, right? And uh, use positive and um, factual testimonies, you know, from uh, other people who has using who has used your product and made um, results and good uh, success with your product. You know what I'm saying? Like, use um, awesome testimonials. You know, testimonials are what uh, what helps most business people in the long run. They they really do help. They give a backstory and an understanding of how your product can actually help people you know so um definitely have um awesome and um useful testimonials about your product and uh make your product believable 
me get your customers i mean sorry about that like i said make uh, i catch myself make that mistake again i can't make that uh, i gotta change it clients 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 not customers guys clients i want to even get um other people you know into you know understanding that you know you don't want to refer to your customers as customers you want to refer to them as clients clients meaning that you're going to take care of them you have their best interests at heart in mind right and uh, also help them believe in your product like help them truly understand what your product is how it can potentially help them and uh, you have to also believe in your product if you don't even believe in what you're if you don't believe what you in, in what you're doing then you're not gonna sell anything I mean that's just logical and uh, understandable that's also common sense if you're not gonna if you if you don't believe in what you're selling and what you're doing then nothing's gonna happen nothing's gonna benefit off of that you know your customer is not gonna believe it they're gonna peep that from a mile away I mean your clients <laughs> sorry like I said you know I gotta get used to this too as, as well I gotta refer to my customers as uh, clients not uh, customers you know what I'm saying clients 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 I gotta get used to that too because I've been referring to them as customers so long for so long but this is the last time guys I'm not gonna refer to them as customers anymore clients um if you don't believe in your um product your your clients is gonna um also like peep that your your clients are very smart don't uh think of your clients as some uh, as, as very stupid they're very very intelligent they know exactly what they want and what they're looking for and then they it may not be your your product but if you and, and, and also if you definitely don't you know believe in what you're doing and, and trust in your product or whatever you Clients is not gonna either, so I mean, that's common sense. Use and also use factual, like I said, back to testimonials and the different things like that. You, you know, use factual evidence, you know, and um, be be believable tactics that's gonna um, help your clients learn more and uh, get in tune with what you're doing with, with, with your product. You know, you have to, like I said, testimonials is very big. You know, you definitely want to use testimonials. I love testimonials, they help a lot, really do. They really help a lot, especially when you're, especially when you're um, promoting your product and different things in that nature, you know. So, um, and, and, and the best, and the best way to sell is also use testimonials. You know, you have to um, get evidence of your product actually being sold and uh, people actually using it, right? So, um, that's another key thing to making your uh, product believable for your client. Also, this is probably the biggest thing in the last. This is the last thing. This is the biggest, most important thing you want to uh, catch on to. Connect with your, your clients. See, I did it. I almost did it. I caught myself. Connect with your clients. You know and I mean, like, I mean, that it's, it's simple when the meaning on that is, you know, like, c connect to your clients. You know, keep them coming back over and over again. Learn to follow up with them consistently. And don't push your clients so too far and so far to where they are, you know, they they're a little bit nervous, or you don't want to like rush them. You want to give them a, a chance to uh, breathe, take in what you're what you're selling, understand everything you're doing, how how your what your uh, your um product is, you know, and uh, how it's gonna help them out. They have they have to you have to give your clients time to um understand what you what you're um selling. And uh, how it can help them? You just, it, it just, it's just simple. You ha and then you also have to connect with your clients. You can't. You, you want to give them. Some, why don't you also give them something uh, free to you know to remember you by? You know, let them know that you are trustworthy. You you know you have their best interests in mind and heart, and uh, you really are you are, you are looking forward to serving them again and, and um and having their service. You're looking forward to their service. You know. You know their um their business you're looking forward to your clients business working with your clients you want to um keep a good strong bond with your clients you know and you, and you have that you keep them coming back over and over again see what else you got to offer you know what i'm saying so those are the key things to um effectively making a sale how to make a sale those are the key points on how to do that you know you have to connect with your client, you have to know your client. You have to know what they're looking for. You have to solve their. You have to solve their problems. You have to give them testimonials, something to uh, make them believe in your product. Okay. And uh, another key thing is that I left out out of this presentation is uh, it's one of the uh, another good thing to uh, keep in mind that, that your clients may like your product, but they 
might not buy anything up front. They might just, you know, keep in mind they might uh they might take a flyer or anything like that. They might take a flyer, they might go on your website and see, you know, what you're doing, blah blah, you know, this and they they'll learn your business and your, your products and things like that. So they're they they're probably interested, they're just not uh, for sure or certain about what they want to buy right now, if they want to buy it right now. You know, so they, they'll eventually come around. You just got to give them time. It's, you you want to be patient with your clients. So, you know, don't rush. Like I said, don't rush your clients. Don't push them. Don't don't take it too far. Don't, you know, I understand the, the um, sales businessman very well. I understand how they operate. And uh, you just want to lower that a, a bit down. It, cut off, you know, just lower your um your salesman business personality a little bit and uh raise up your caring and understanding and connecting personality personality a bit more with your clients. That's the only that's the the best way to effectively make a sale. And I hope this video is helpful for you guys. You know, I love making videos like this. You know, on my free time, you know, I love making videos like this. I always do it to try to help you guys out. If you benefit from it, from this or anything I say, you know, um, you're welcome. I, you know, I love helping you guys. This is free. this is free. I do this free for you guys. This is, I love doing this and uh, helping people out. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're looking for more content about this, you know, I have a, a whole bunch of content of different things pertaining to online businesses um, subscribe to this channel you're gonna want to learn more and more about what I have to share with you guys more of my content because I upload videos on a consistent basis so definitely stay tuned for more videos I love you guys thank you for watching subscribe like this video and I'll see you guys later peace